So we're now standing at the junction of Strand Street and what I call Factory Lane because at one time Factory Lane ran from the net factory which later became a stocking factory but at the time it was built it was a net factory and it was built by the Corrin family of Corrin's Tower fame and he had either invented or bought a machine that made uh, the nets for the fishing boats much more quickly and efficiently and cheaply than the old method of making them by hand. So from the factory down the shore road there, down to the, the prom, that was called Factory Lane. And this part was renamed Beach Street because some of the houses here became boarding houses. And if you were living in a, a, a town in, in the north of England and working in a factory, you wouldn't want to come to the seaside to stay in a place called Factory Lane. So they renamed it Beach Street. I was at a talk by Leslie Quilliam and he said that according to the 1891 census, there were 81 bakehouses in Peel. Probably just one man businesses. And they might only be baking, you know, a few hours a day and then selling the bread and then doing another job. And I think that a lot of the bread was being sold to the fishermen, to the fishing fleet, because at one time Peel Harbour would be packed completely solid with fishing boats. And they say that you could walk from one side of the harbour to the other without getting your, your feet wet. And my father said the same thing because I think he must have got a job shortly after he left school. He used to deliver bread, probably to the fishing boats, and you could actually walk right across the harbour on the fishing boats from deck to deck. 